Recently reported were the GOG 218 and the ICON 7, which were both trials of adjuvant intravenous taxol and carboplatin in combination with bevacizumab versus placebo, uh, both concurrent with the chemotherapy and as subsequent maintenance therapy for prolonged treatment. The GOG 218 trial reported improvement in PFS from 10 months in the control group to 14 months in the experimental arm uh, that included maintenance bevacizumab. Uh, that was statistically significant. No overall survival differences have been seen, but the survival data have yet to mature. We're waiting for that in 2013. Uh, preliminary analysis of survival data showed no changes whatsoever, uh, which may be related either to no effect or to confounding effect of crossover treatment with bevacizumab in the placebo-treated patients. The ICON-7 trial, which was performed mostly in Europe, uh, was similarly designed study, used half the dose of bevacizumab and four fewer cycles in the maintenance setting, uh, showed a similar PFS advantage. Uh, uh, it went from 17 months in the control group to 20 months in the experimental arm, which was also statistically significant, uh, though not very substantial clinically. Um, they did look at a prospectively defined high-risk subgroup of patients with suboptimal stage three cancer or stage four cancer. Uh, those patients appear to have more of an absolute benefit in PFS, going from about 10 and a half months to 16 months, also statistically significant. In that group of patients, there was a uh, suggestion of overall survival advantage as well, uh, but those data have yet to mature. Again, we're waiting for 2013.